here are the reasons to not invest in lender. Number one reason, and the most important reason I think, is to settle on the shares. As you see right here, I've been almost a week with lender, and my shares are still pending. Um, continue to be pending. Um, so according to the customer support here, you cannot sell your share until those ten dollars shares are actually sold. And look at this right here. Hey, look at this cookie here. You must be prepared to hold your shares indefinitely. So that's a major risk with this album. So, the only property right now that has meet criteria of over ten dollars shares at this location here it has the status of trading. Everything else has the status of new, but that one has status of trading. Which so I'm thinking basically means that 10,000 shares have been sold on that property. Another reason why not to invest into lender is taxes. That there's only one tax point per LLC, and they were saying a 1099B in a 1099 dividend tax form but there's one more form that you will see if you buy multiple properties within the same year and i'll show you how to get to that right quick so i'm on the lender website here scroll down to legal here and go to terms and if you go to terms and you search for schedule. There you go. So basically, see by agreeing these terms conditions, you agree to receive electronic all documents, communication notices, contracts, and agreements, including any IRS forms. As so the IRS form returns to any form 1099, Schedule K, or any other form. And here's the dance about Schedule K. For every property buy, you could possibly receive a Schedule K. What basically I'm gonna do is I'm trying to limit how many properties I buy, get one property, and buy shares on that. Number three, here's another thing about Linda. Linda has the, the worst out rating for a real estate investment I've seen so far. I mean, 2.7. Yeah, compared to Fundrise Application, which has 4.4, .4, and Conreed, which I always do those two as a comparison, has a 4.2. You have no passwords in Linda. When you sign up, they sign up by basically email. You you get an email, they got your email and your phone number. But in order for you to sign back in, you have to basically, if you're logged out, give your email address. You have to basically put in, and they give you a code. Welcome back. Yeah, I wish you had two fact identification or at least some passwords or have the least ability for us to log out and log back in after 30 days. So far, I haven't seen any of those security measures. So security risks, I have an issue with lender. So I think it's just, it just terrible on that part. They need to do better on that. And last but not least, it, the application itself, um, it has constantly have the ability to slow down. And also from time to time, you get these errors that basically it don't lost connection to the server or their servers or maybe even one server so i'm going to show some examples of that occurring to me okay so i can just get started and look like it already grist up already look at that I had to put it in, get started twice. It actually rejected out. So, come on. Oh my, now nope, it's just very slow. Very slow. Oh, here, go right here. Oh, look at that. They got a maintenance request from last year 
and has not even that it's so one name is the I can see why it got its rating. Um the one the um the listed <clears throat> one listen is cool but number two it constantly loses the company constantly loses internet connection. You know, um, I mean, look at this. I'm on good internet connection. It says I lost, like, let me say, research what you want to invest in. And if you do not like to invest in Lambda at all, at least check out my series of monthly videos on the Lambda application and see whether or not, you know, it's the right fit for you or not. Last but not least, take care and thanks for watching.